Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. And for today, we are going to draw Yes from Ralph Breaks the Internet. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so let's start with laying out her head. And bring down her face right here. So we're going to make a standard head, round it up, and go around. Right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and give her that eye line, the eye guideline, always important, and then the nose guideline. So we're going to go straight down the middle. What we're going to do next, after we're done making her chin, we're going to go underneath her chin, go just a little bit under, bring down her neck on this side, and then bring down her neck on this side. So we have her neck. All right, we're going to close that off. And then we're going to go down and then go back up and then bring down this side and then go back up. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to make a line going through her neck and bring out this side and bring out this side. And that's her glittery jacket. I'm going to start with putting one eye over here on this guideline. So this is our eye guideline. I'm going to jump over here. I'm going to go up from the guideline, go up, kind of round out this way, bring it down, and then close. So we have one eye here, and I'm going to jump over here, go up, round down, and then curve upwards. Right, so this is kind of a three-quarter turn because we're seeing more of this side of her face as opposed to this side. After that, let's go ahead and just lay out where her nose is gonna go. So I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna go up, round it, over to the side, and then close it over here. That's just an area where her nose is gonna go. And then for just her, her mouth, her smile, so it's gonna go from over here Gonna go down, curve, and go up. All right. Okay, so let's go back to her eyes. I'm gonna go ahead, jump inside the eye right here, make one circle. After that, I'm gonna jump over here, make another circle. Now I'm going to put a little shine here, jump over here, put the little shine here. And I'm going to jump inside of her eye and give her her pupil. Then jump over here, give her her pupil into the corner of her eye. And then you're going to bring up her eyelid. Bring up her eyelid over here and then bring it down. Same over here, the eyelid's gonna go curve up and then down. And then her eyelashes need to be super thick and they're gonna go out this way. So thickness right here, bring out that eyelash. And then over here, bring out the eyelash over here as well so it's off to the side of her eye. And then her eyeshadow is always super blue and dark, so you can go ahead and color in those eyelids. Then what you're going to do, you're just going to jump up here for right now and give her one eyebrow. So we're going to, I'm going to curve this right here, like make it a little fuller, go up and then down. So she kind of looks a little mean, but she's not mean. She's actually a really sweet character. So we have one eyebrow here, and then I'm going to round off over here, start this eyebrow, and it goes up and off to the side of her face. And then I'm going to jump over here with her nose. So you're, what you're going to do is you're going to curve the nose going this way. We're going to curve upwards with the nose and just go ahead and darken in that nostril area. 
And then we're gonna have one nostril here, round it this way, bring this off to the side, and then we have a little bit of her nose that we see over here. And then it's shaded on top of her nose and shaded a little bit at the bottom here. Then what you're going to do for her mouth, you're gonna jump down just a little bit below. So we started this line over here, so you're going to go ahead and start back over there. So it curves up and into here. So we're gonna start right here, go up, and then curve into her mouth. So this is essentially, it's going down up pretty close to her nose and then curve into her smile and then you're going to go down a little thick and then go back up then you're going to go ahead and I'm just going to lightly shade in her lips because they're very blue leave a little bit of a shine right there on her lower lip Then to complete her facial features, wait. So before we put on her glasses, I'd like to shape up her face just a little bit more. So let's start with her forehead. I'm gonna bring down her forehead and go in towards her eye just a little bit. So we're gonna go in towards her eye and then we're gonna go outwards. And then we're gonna bring down her chin just a little bit more and round it off a little bit more. Keep her jawline pretty round and going upwards. And then I'm just gonna bring out one ear out to this side so her ear is gonna go outwards. And we're gonna give that one little earlobe indention here and here as well. Before we start on her hair, we have to finish her glasses. So we're just gonna go straight across. We're gonna start over here. And we're gonna go straight across on top of her eyelids. Go straight across. going to go from here at this corner you're going to curve down go up towards her nose ridge go down and then you're going to start to go up towards the corner so I'm going to bring start curving upwards go up more but that's all it basically is and I don't really she doesn't have like you know the, the rims or anything to it I should bring this up glasses are always tricky for me but they're pretty they're pretty easy it just looks like it's a visor a floating visor almost all right so let's start with yes's hair so starting from the side right here, we're gonna actually bring up her, so this is her head. We're actually gonna bring up just a little bit more of a section of her head right here. And then for right now, you're gonna go ahead and make this little curve. And this is just the shaved part of her head. So it's a bit of a buzz cut on this side. So you're gonna go ahead and start making, you're gonna go behind that line, curve up, curve up and then I'm gonna stop right there and I'm gonna jump down to here where we have just like a little wisp of hair down here and then I'm gonna start to this side and I'm gonna start bringing out it just looks like it's kind of a wave because it looks like she just gelled it to the side and we've got some wisps going off But it's all generally, generally one big clump. Like it's all gelled together. And it starts from this side. I'm gonna make it a little wired over to this side. So it's gonna keep going this way, going up. My 
reminds me a lot of Johnny Bravo here. <laughs> Bring this off here. And then the thing you want to keep in mind is just to leave a little bit of a gap for the cut in her hair to get that buzz cut. So I'm just going to go ahead and just lightly shade this to show, show that's where her buzz cut is. Now from her ear, you're going to we're going to make a couple of pentagons. So we have one pentagon here. I'm just going to like, it's just floating, cool looking earrings. And then we have another pentagon that's kind of off to the side over here on the side of her face. Right down this side. There we go, our two pentagons. All right, so let's start working on her outfit. So I'm gonna bring down her chest just a little bit more. It goes out. And then we see just a little bit more of her shirt off to the side right here. And we're gonna curve it. Then she has this big fluffy ginormous coat. And I'm gonna bring, so we started the coat off to the shoulders. I'm gonna bring over this shoulder right here. I'm gonna bring it off. Curve inwards. Bring this coat off. And then we're going to go ahead and give her more of a collar on her shirt. And then it looks like she has like a zipper that's starting up here. And it's going to go down and curve. And then she has more of a pixely kind of pattern going on on her shirt. So I'm gonna make a triangle here, and it looks like, yeah, she does look like she's a code of pixels. And you're gonna bring down her collar here. So what you can do is you can go ahead and just kind of make like a couple of lines. And then the pattern of the pixels is triangles. So you can go around, start making some triangles. And she has one bright triangle right here, and I'll go ahead and just kind of highlight that one a little bit by darkening it. And then the bottom of the shirt here. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead from the side of her coat, I'm gonna bring up her arm, which is this, this big fluffy arm once again. I'm gonna round it off. Round off her arm going downwards. Bring up her hand. Her wrist is really skinny. So I'm gonna round off her coat and it's still this big fluffy blue coat. her hand so it's gonna go this is the palm of her hand round out her pinky go back into her hand round out her pink her other finger her other finger and then we're gonna go up with her thumb So we go outwards, round it in, and then bring it down back into her palm like she's holding out her hand. And we're gonna go ahead and give her a heart that she's holding, not holding, you know how she threw the hearts out at Ralph? Round it out, and there we go. Just a simple heart to signify the hearts that he got in the movie. Go ahead and 
now I'm going to darken these lines up just a little bit. So the thing about her coat is it looks like a fur coat, so I'm just going to go around and kind of give it more of a texture of fur. It's not real fur, it looked like it was electrofibers that every time something happened it would light up if she was happy or something. So I'm going to go around and just give a little bit more texture to it. And let's go ahead and just give her her midriff. So we're going to go ahead and give her the midriff. And then her coat comes down this way, but her arm still is tucked beneath right there. So this goes into her skirt. And this is her hips going outwards. And then for this side, you're going to bring out the other side of her arm. So this is big fluffy coat, big fluffy sections. I'm gonna round out this way. And then once again, skinny wrist. And her hand is gonna go up. I'm actually going to curve it this way. Curve, so it, we're giving it like the bit of a curve that's resting on her hip. So her fingers, one finger is going to go this way outwards. It's her pointer finger. Around it like a finger. And then go out. Bring it in. And then this finger is alongside this one. And this finger is alongside this one. And it still goes down. So it goes up, curved up into her pinky, and then this fur bit is going to go behind, and then there's another fur bit off to the side of her jacket. So let's darken up these fingers just a little bit, and it looks like she's got like fingerless gloves on, so I'm just going to go ahead and start drawing on the gloves. And she's got a gap up here and then the cut off of the gloves so we can go ahead and just darken this because it's a darker blue everything she wears is blue so it's a dark blue there and then she's got a bit of, of a she's got a bracelet on so it's going to go around off to the side all right and for her skirt it looks like, okay, so we have her midriff and closing off right here, her zipper's going downwards and then it looks like on the elastic part of her skirt, there's two little sections here and the skirt goes this way and then just to kind of finish it off, it's the triangle pattern again. So I'm just going to roughly go ahead and draw those on. going to, just to create, go back to the fur coat and give it more of that fur-like look to it. Just kind of make it more furry. And then for this one, I'm going to make that furry here. There you go, there's how to draw yes from the new Ralph Breaks the Internet. She's a really cool character and if you guys have not seen the movie yet, make sure you go and check it out. It's a lot of awesome fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you'll go ahead and give yes a try with drawing her. I hope you guys have a most wonderful day and I'll see y'all later. Bye!